want to find hey this is a small video on partial derivatives like what they are what do we get from them and why do we do them so before bumping into partial derivative let's have a look at what derivatives are and what do we get from them so let's say you have function f of x and if you want to find the tangent the derivative that is the tangent of that function f of x the derivative is given as f dash of x that is dy by dx so derivative simply means for drawing a tangent to that curve for a given point so for a 2d function you have one unique tangent for a given point and the derivative helps us the tangent here helps us to determine the behavior of that function that is it is increasing decreasing or stationary so let's say you have a multivariable function f of x comma y that is represented in 3d and you have a point on it so here if you want to find the tangent you can draw the tangent in any direction you want so let's say you have drawn the tangent in this direction in this direction or any other direction so in short what we get here is a whole tangent planes that uh, represents the tangent in all directions but that's but that is quite ambiguous and quite confusing cause you have tangent in every direction so partial derivatives helps us to find the direction to find the tangent in a particular direction so let's say you want to find the tangent across this plane in the direction of this what partial derivative does is slices that function across this plane so now instead of 3d you have a 2d curve and you can simply draw a tangent across that curve so now uh, you have a tangent in a particular direction and that is what partial derivative helps us to do so let's say you have to find the tangent in the direction of x axis so what you need to do is fix a plane where y is constant and you can uh, slice the curve by choosing different values of y so let's say you have chose y is equal to y not so you can slice the plane at y not and you get a curve where y is fixed so basically you can choose any point on that curve and you get to know how x is changing at that particular point because y is a constant here and the only variable that is changing here is x so for partial derivative what you need to do is consider y as a constant and x as a variable a uh, good question here is what if you want to find the tangent in directions apart from x y and z so for that you need to do something called as directional derivatives but that is a different thing in itself so let's have a look where we use partial derivatives so if you want to find uh, the differential of a multivariable function what you need to do is just uh, take partial derivative with respect to variable multiply with its differential uh, and keep on adding such variables to get the total differential so let's say you have f of x comma y so you if you need to find the differential of d uh, the differential df so what do you need to do partial derivative with respect to x into the differential dx plus partial derivative of with respect to y with the differential dy similarly if you have f of uh, f as a function of x comma y comma z you can do the same thing the application of partial derivative is in most of the equation like if you have anything varying with respect to 3d is partial derivative is a must so you can see here the navier stokes equation and thermal diffusivity equation just an as just an example where you have the nabla operator which uh, basically is a, a sum of uh, three partial with respect to their vector coordinates so an example here we can take is 
a typical skin equation where uh, S is the surface area of the skin and uh, W is W and H are weight in height respectively. So as W or H increases, the surface area of the skin also increases. So uh, here the given quantity is uh, the percentage change. The percentage change of weight and height are equal. That is six percent. So we have to find the percentage change of the skin area. So let's take the differential ds of the skin equation which is given by the following big equation and if you divide the whole differential with respect to s that is the original equation what you are left with uh, 0.425 into percentage change of w plus 0.725 into the percentage change of height so the total change in surface area of the skin is uh, 6.9% by the above procedure so there is how uh, so that is a way to uh, find the percentage change in a property by using partial derivatives and thanks for watching